So we have Eric on Instagram who said, do I need to take a Remedex? My hematocrit is 55. How do I bring that down? Okay. So a Remedex, I don't know if you need to be on it or not. What does your blood work say? And what are you taking that you might need a Remedex? Um, just me, and I don't like to assume, but me assuming that it would possibly be testosterone that you're taking. Now, most of the patients are going to need an AI, an aromatized inhibitor, and a Remedex is the commonly most prescribed one. Now, with this, we really want to see how much you're taking as far as testosterone-wise, how long you've been on it, and at that point, you know, have you tested your levels? Do you know where your estrogen's at? Do you know where it's free and told testosterone's at? This is something you want to look at for sure. But if you're not on aromatized inhibitor and you're on testosterone, you're probably going to need an aromatized inhibitor because we know that testosterone is going to convert into estrogen. And then people tell me like, well, I'm only taking a low dose. I've seen people at 100 milligrams, 200 milligrams, and 300 milligrams. And I would say 95% of them all needed a Remedex or an aromatized inhibitor of one, one, one thing or the other. So at that point... Definitely want to look at those numbers. Definitely want to see where they're at. And if you're taking testosterone, it's most likely you're going to need an aromatized inhibitor, probably a Remedix or an Astrozole, whatever you guys want to call it.